format. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I've been waiting for that all weekend. <laughs> Enjoy your shirt. I will. Thanks for your shirt. What's up, buddy? Hi, how are you? Good. So, this thing's getting shorter, I think. No, it's you. Oh. Nah. I'm trying to get taller. So, some of my favorite, especially Bolton Skull moments on the part of the show, on the show, were when they tried to become superheroes, whether it was, you know, like motorcycle helmets that were Power Rangers, or one of the best moments of the entire Mighty Morphin series was Bolster and Super Skull. <laughs> I mean, those costumes were fantastic, and it was just, you know, and I know that at one point there was a discussion about a spin-off series for Vulcan Skull. What, what, if they had a superhero spin-off show where they were literally superheroes, what superheroes would they, what kind of superheroes would they have been? Gosh, well, I mean, it would be those two characters, yeah, right? it would have been Vulcan and Super Skull. Terrible rip-offs of, uh, Batman and Robin is right. what it was. My, my wife actually drew a picture of that for the t-shirt contest that they were doing online. I saw it. She made and, skinny. Oh, I didn't see it. And <laughs> <laughs> they actually sent it back to us at first and said they couldn't use it because it looked too much like Batman and Robin. Uh, and I had to send them a screenshot of the episode and say, this is what you guys look like. I'm not, you know, we're not interpreting anything at all. This is exactly, and they said, oh, well, if Heim says anything, then we'll have to pull it down. But for now, we'll have to leave it on the website. Well, I, <laughs> I suspect it probably started with Mighty Fine because, you know, we are the super fans. <laughs> so we know, you know, what's in the universe, even though it makes no sense half the time. <laughs> yeah, right? And then my uh, sort of a question is, you know, you guys were talking about who your heroes were, you know, the, the sort of slapstick of the past. And do you consider, I know I do, do you guys consider Bulk and Skull to sort of be added to that list of just legendary sort of comedic duos? Well, I don't know, you tell us. Yeah. I think so. Yeah. Yeah. Do, you, do, you, do you consider those characters as characters that will, people will talk about in college acting classes, you know, 20 years down the road as something that really... I don't know about that. No. I, wish I, I, say, I think it's a generational thing. Yeah. I mean, yeah. if I ask... Sophie, you know, do you, who, who is Gilligan and Skipper? Like, we don't know. Yeah. I mean, Lenny and Squiggy. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, Skipper went on. So you don't think Balkan Skull have lasting power? No, I think they do, but only within the context of your experience. Yeah. You know? I mean, look, if we're beaming out into space right now. Someday, the alien reptilians are going to be like, the humans are someone we should not visit. <laughs> There is a legacy, the legacy, yeah. <laughs> and uh, we're we're damn proud and very very lucky. You know, out of all the actors in Los Angeles, five percent of them of the professional actors work, and of those five percent, most of them work for like two months a year, maybe. Yeah. In LA, you want to get a commercial a year, yeah, because a you commercial. can make fifty, sixty grand, and that's enough to live, and that's what people do. But to get more than ten years on a show. Playing characters you get to build yourself. Come on, man. Yeah. It's like I think I woke up in heaven, bro. Mm. <laughs> and I'm not dead yet. Bring out the show. Well, thank you guys. Thank you guys for being here. Thank you. Really enjoyed it. Woo! How you doing? Hey, I'm doing good. What's your name? Uh, Phil Pando. 